Hello, today I want to show you my 5 nut spinner. I've got two designs. This one using 12 millimeter uh, nuts and this one uses half inch but actually they both use 12 millimeter. I just you can put the 12, half inch on a few times before it starts to destroy the plastic but half inch gives you more weights and three more possibilities of nut sizes. So the way I printed the files was uh, printed them in half with the two files down as you can see like that and then you put them together to uh, to uh, build them. You, uh, they fit the bearing just fine and you can see if I pop this in just a little bit that they spin pretty nicely with the bearing just by themselves but when you start adding weight to the outside it gets better and better um, so I'm going to do that now but I'm going to use a print in place bearing that I provided for you and we'll put that into the one side before I put it together and uh, one side, you, when you print this plate in place bearing, you put a brim down to help it uh, not move on your plate. And so you put the brim on the outside so you don't have to worry about jamming that through. And then you worry about an alignment mark. Not worry, obviously, but there's an alignment mark on that you can see right there. That's just a line up and down. That makes sure that everything lines up good because it doesn't line up perfectly in all directions, but it will this way. Then you take your nuts. I printed some nuts for you to start with and uh, these are 12 millimeter. You get them on and you can see that uh, they go on pretty nice and easy. And there's three. Or you can go down to the hardware store and there's um, three different sizes of 12 millimeter and um, three different sizes of half inch. Uh, I like the stop nets because they're a little smoother on the outside edge and a little bit more mass and they're fun to play with. I also like the um, aligning the sides up even and smooth so that it's easier on your fingers. Alright, so you get it like that and you can see that it works now there. A little bit more mass now, a little bit better on the printed in place bearing. But one thing I did is I've made some um, caps, end caps for it. They use threads that you can see out there that are found on the uh, Thingiverse and uh, go together like that. And these cap pieces also are made so, in my design to make them so they stack. And you'll see why that's important here in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on this print in place. Actually, I'm not going to put them all on. I'll just put one on right now because I also provide this. This is a top piece. It has a little bit of a peg right there in the bottom you might be able to see. And that little peg allows it to spin on it. Um, so you put that into the bottom of your um, thing and it locks in place. Put your spinner down on top of it all. And now you can see that it spins like that, but you say, what's that good as that? Well, when I let go of it, it spins like a top, and it'll spin for a long time that way until it loses its balance. But that's uh, what you get there. That works with both metal bearings and plastic bearings. With the metal bearings, it only works until it gets slow, and then it, the plastic and then the uh, metal bearing takes back over. So that's how that works. Now I'm going to show you why these pieces, stacking pieces, are important to me because you can take the stacking pieces, get them in the ones with the actual metal on them, and these suckers will spin for multiple minutes. And I like stacking them for the look. So here's the first one I showed you. Here's the other one I just put the things in. You stack them like that, and you can work them in individually. It's kind of fun for a double stack uh, fidget spinner that way. Real simple, just put them together and they hold, and you're good to go. But it's kind of fun to set them down because they do spin so long. You set them down, get one going one way and the other going the other. And it's neat to watch the geometric patterns that uh, form. Anyway, that's pretty much what I have to offer. Hope you all enjoy it. Have a nice day.